In the scoring zone, we started with really working from mini wedge. Mini wedge, again, less than your full sand wedge, up to about 25 yards to the green. Now we're much closer to the green, and we're in a situation where we need, or we'd like to hit, a high slider. You know, the industry likes to call this a lob shot, and that makes sense to me. The ball's kind of lobbing onto the green. I've called it high toss, meaning that you toss the ball high. High slider describes what the club is doing in relation to the golf ball. I want you to imagine the club coming in and sliding underneath the bottom of the golf ball, which would elevate the ball straight up into a much higher trajectory where it lands softer. So that's why I like to call it a high slider. Now right away when you think about that, think about what the shaft should look like in relation to the ground. If the shaft is forward, you would trap the ball. So the high slider comes in, the shaft is neutral, the club slides under the golf ball, elevates the ball quickly. Now I like to say, with warning, high slider is high risk. Think about it, there's not much margin for error. Your club's coming in, it's sliding under the golf ball. If you pull back just a little bit, you can blade the shot, or if you hit a little early, you can chunk it. So it's high risk, there's not a lot of room for error. So be careful when you're playing this shot, make sure the risk is worth the reward. All right, so high slider, how do you hit that shot? First is, when you set up to the ball, set the handle down. You know I always refer to stand of the handle. Remember, the handle has to be in place before you take your stance. Where should the handle be when I want to hit a high slider? I should set up with the handle straight, so I've got a lot of loft. If I want to really hit it high, I can even pull the handle back a little bit. Wherever the handle is, so neutral would be normal, maybe back a little bit if I want to set it, hit a super high one, and then I'll just stand at the handle. So from there, make sure the butt of your golf club points at your middle so your spine is neutral. Remember, you never want to be tilted back. I see that so often when people hit shots like this. They think it's their job to help the ball in the air. So right away, they kind of either tilt back or they fall back and try to scoop the ball. We've all done that. You know, I've done it too, where you fall back, try to help the ball up in the air, and next, you, next thing you've done is you've bladed the ball across the green. Awful shot. So let's start with a good setup. Set the shaft at right angles to the ground. Stand to the handle. I grip down a little bit on the golf club. I've got my lob wedge out. You gotta have the right tool. You can add a little bit of loft by opening the face. Stand to the handle. I'm gripping down on the golf club, so there's a couple inches of space between the grip and my palm. Now, once I'm set, the motion here is to learn to swing the club up with your arms. It's different than the low trap. The low trap, remember we talked about that there's a pivot with your upper body here. It's more of an arm dominant golf swing. Your body should be passive. So when I get set up for this shot, I'll get set up, pull the handle back, stand to the handle. I keep my body weight centered. I don't lean left, I don't lean right. You can see that I've got a narrow stance because I don't want to transfer my weight around in the shot. I swing it up primarily with my arms. So the club comes up. This is something I like to use to show people what the club face should do when you're hitting a, a high slider or a low trap for that matter. I call it a palm up hinge. What does that mean? Here's a ping pong battle. I want to open that face up so you can see it would look like this. So I want to have more of a rotated, when I hinge my wrist, I want to rotate that face up so it has more loft on it so it can slide under the golf ball. That's a great way to think about what the face of your golf club should be doing when you're hitting the shot. Okay, so I get set here. Get over the golf ball, stand to the handle. I'm going to let the club swing up with my hands. You can see I've got a lot of loft on the face. The leading edge of the of the club is at right angles to the ground. Now I need that same downswing we talked about in making sure the club is descending through the golf ball. You've got to make sure the club head starts down. If you start with your legs, you've got a problem. Now the club is behind you, it's going to hit behind the golf ball and you're going to hit a fat or thin shot. So I get set up here, I swing the club up with my arms, loft on the golf club, shoulder is passive, I don't want to make a pivot here and let my club come around. So that gives me a vertical swing, so I'm up, I swing down, I slide the club under the ball. As the club comes through, it pulls my arms, and then my arms pull my body. So it's always club, head, arms, body, upper body, lower body response, no lateral. So I'll just get set here. Let's execute a couple shots. Get set, nice narrow stance, swing up with my arms. Slide the club under the golf ball. I can hit a nice high, soft shot. Cup, the ball comes down. It lands and softly and stops very quickly. Let's hit another one. So handle back, stand to the handle, up with the arms, loft on the club face, slide the club under the golf ball, 
There's a nice little soft shot. It's going to land on the front of the green, roll out to the pin. I've got a makeable putt there, so I'm pretty happy with a shot like that when I'm faced with a high slider.